And a full measure to the end of 15, Will Aston Villa. It's the 4th of October 2015, and we've got a live commentary at home to Liverpool. Um, it just should be a very tricky game. And uh, it hasn't been a great start to the season, I'm not going to lie. Um, but hopefully, we can turn it around with some sort of a result here against Liverpool. First thing we're going to hop into is the transfers, though. There has been a few more moves since you guys last were with us. Not much on the edge, just a few more loans. Charles and Zogby went on loan to Sheffield Wednesday and Gary Gardner to Doncaster. Two coming in, uh, Ryan Bertrand, I told you about him in the last episode. He has come in on loan in that left-back position. He hasn't been too bad, actually. Four four games, one goal from left-back is not bad. He just looks a quite well-rounded off-centre. Sorry, left-back, not a centre-back. Then the next one, actually is a bit off because I only signed him around three days ago in game. No, not three days. Five days ago in game. That means, unfortunately, he can't be registered till um, January. But it is Roberto Pereira. He was on loan at Juventus last year in game. After, he's at Udinese. Picked him up on a free transfer. He's worth €24 million. The guy is four-star. He's an absolute tank of a player. Great vision, great speed, good physical attributes, good technical attributes. It's all going on for him. The only problem... He's a uh, leading player for most Premier Division sides. The only problem is he can't play until January in the league. So I've had I've had to make him available for the under twenty one, so he doesn't like play no football and therefore uh, decrease in stats. But to have nine caps for Argentina already at this age, and to just pick him up on a free transfer is an absolute steal and a half. So I can't wait to get my hands on him in January. So, since the last episode, which was the awful 2 and defeat to Birmingham in the second city derby in the Capital Cup second round, we then lost 2-1 to Burnley. I think that was probably worse. Trippier and Barnes for them, Ron Vlar for us. Barnes scoring in the 89th minute to give them the win. We drew 2-2 away at Cardiff. Uh, Benteke and Bertrand scoring. It was 3-1 at home to West Ham. Amara Zarate second half hat trick, uh, cancelling out Joris Akore's consolation goal. And then last but not least, we put in actually a real stellar effort away at Manchester City, but did lose 2 0. It actually reminded me of the game in real life that happened um, at Villa Park a few weeks ago. Like we were never in the game, and actually, we probably we didn't create anything in this game, as for at least they created maybe a chance or two in the real, real life game. but. Uh, 77th and 84th minutes, so they took a long time to break us down, but finally they did, and then they campaigned with that by scoring a second goal as well. So as uh, that has left us in 18th spot after five games, only two points to our names, only six goals as well, uh, 11 conceded, which is the third worst, which I suppose means that's really the reason why we are third last. Win today, though. And results going our way means we could hop up to 15th. Uh, but that will be a very tough ask. At home to Liverpool, very good team. As you can see, I've changed the shape slightly. We've got Valdez and goal back for Bertrand, Balanta, Okore and Peruzzi. Pizarro and Sanchez. Cl uh, Cleverly, Grealish and Delft playing as three attacking midfielders. Even though Cleverly and Delft, this isn't really their natural role. I'm still testing them out in it. And Benteke up front on his own. So we're just going to have to see how this one kind of pans out. I played it against Man City, and really, we played very respectably against City. Like, it took them a long time to break us down, which was which was positive, I suppose. The only like the only disappointing thing is we did break, um, and unfortunately that did lo lead to a second goal as well, which was disappointing. Their team, as you can see it now, Mignolet, Moreno, Lovren, Skirtland, Johnson, Lucas, Joe Allen, Jordan Henderson, Coutinho, Balotelli, and this guy called Baca. Carlos Baca. He looked quite good. They bought him from Sevilla for 28.5 million. Can't say I know about him, but obviously he's pretty decent uh, making that sort of a money move. From the way they're lined out, it looks as if he's going to be playing in sort of a poacher role. With Balotelli more, maybe of a deep line forward, maybe even a target man material. So here's Cleverly. So we start off today's game. And could be an early chance here for Liverpool. Cleverly hacks it away. 
Benteke looking for it, can't find them. Johnson now. Inside to Coutinho, Balotelli. Moreno, Delph away. But straight back in the mix. Moreno, Joe Allen, Coutinho, it's 1 0. It's only four minutes in, and Liverpool have already taken the lead here. It's a sloppy enough goal to concede. Uh, nobody really marking up, and it's really paid. Paid for us there. Not good at all from ourselves. It seems to be going quite slowly, though, between the highlights. I'm not sure whether that's lag or what's the story. Um, I'm going to bump up the old highlight speed a little bit. Um, so as you can see here from the early goings though we really haven't created much just one shot of our own to Liverpool's 8 which is a bit of a substantial difference if you're asking me um, 40 minutes gone now I, I think at this rate we'll be quite lucky to just get in at half time 1-0 here's Balanta finds Bertrand Benteke cleverly Peruzzi, Benteke hits the bar, would you believe it? No, I wouldn't, of course. The one chance we get and it does hit the bar, it doesn't go in. It kind of sums it up at the moment with our form and with the way we're playing. Benteke not having the, the best start to the season. A little bit disappointing from his end. But Danny Ings has been even more disappointing, so I'm not really sure what to think about it all. Um, it's an hour gone, and I think we're going to change shape again. Cause I'm looking maybe to go into a, a two striker formation again. So if we actually um, now if we go back to what we know, which is this, Chris and Delph stop around, and we're going to put on Danny Ings as a poacher. Uh, attack, and playmaker support. We'll just have these guys roaming playmaker support for Cleverly and box to box for Pizarro and Grealish as a Trequartista. And we'll get back into the game. I suppose we might as well go attacking at this rate, you know. Live and die by the sword. That's how I'm how I look at it. Rather than you know, we can't just lie down and let us let them kind of beat us 1-0. We might as well go for it and concede a second goal rather than, um, as I said, just kind of lie down and be beaten. But he's better taking Ings. Ings on the follow-up. Danny Ings' his first goal of the season. And what a time to get it. Peruzzi with a long ball through. Benteke with a fantastic header through to Ings who missed the initial shot. And really was gifted a second chance by Mignolet. I'm not really sure. He might have had to parry it. But um, Ings was kind of lucky that, that the ball fell to him. And he managed to convert on the second chance. To give us a give us an equaliser. And actually in the second half probably a deserved equaliser. If we really draw him back into the game. I'm still going to be wary though. Because we have been vulnerable to conceding late. In previous games, and here they come, Moreno. Gonna have to be careful. Coutinho out to Joe Allen. Lucas Henderson, no, no. Oh, thank God. They're in a menacing position there with the when the ref called up for full time. That's an excellent draw, though, and a really uh, well well fought draw from the team, showing a little bit of heart. So we've uh, got out of the relegation spots with that win as well which is quite pleasing only three points from six games though which isn't pleasing but nonetheless it's a, it's an excellent result against a decent enough Liverpool side and after conceding early as well that's quite good Danny Ings, oh, another positive Danny Ings finally scoring a goal so as you can see though the, the fixtures aren't well, on paper shouldn't be too difficult in the next few games you know the, the next live commentary will be the Swansea game at home but you know we got kind of QPR Spurs is tough, but then Stoke, Sunderland, Southampton and Forest. All possibly winnable games. I'm not quite so sure though, with the way we're in 
with the form we're in at the moment, they'll be lucky to just get a win under our belt. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later.